Hi, Dr. Mori here. I have a really interesting case. I have a patient who is a uh, uh, active athlete. Uh, he came in complaining of uh, clicking and catching on the outer side of his knee. Uh, it was affecting his ability to train. Uh, an MRI showed what looked like a lateral meniscus tear. Uh, the patient was now uh, on the table, and this is his right leg. Right leg, arthroscope, light source, water pumping into the knee, filling it up like an aquarium. On the, on the medial portal, I have a spinal needle, which I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in a second. Now we look at the screen, and this is what we have. We have the lateral side of the knee, also known as the outer side of the knee. We have the, uh, the distal femur, the lateral femoral condyle. We have the lateral tibial plateau. It's called a plateau because it looks like a, mace, a mesa, or a flat area. And then the lateral meniscus is right here. I'm gonna flush out this area really quick. There we go. Oops, my little water source came off. So we're back on, there we go. All right, so you see that uh, blood? I've actually already started to work on this meniscus tear. Uh, it's called a cleavage tear because it's a, horizontal, a long horizontal type tear. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the upper flap and, and, uh, and bring it together with the lower flap. Uh, and tie it down and squeeze it down tight. And before I squeeze it, I'm creating some uh, little blood channels or vascular channels with the spinal needle. I'm trying to bring in some uh, blood into the area because it's gonna need blood in order to heal because injuries don't heal without blood. If there's no blood, uh, you might as well uh, tie two pieces of beef jerky together and there won't be healing. So in this case, before it's tied together, uh, I have to stimulate the area to create some bleeding, and that's why there's already bleeding there. So I use a needle as well as an instrument that's called a rasp. It's a rough, rough-ended instrument, and I just roughen the area up. So then after this, I tie it together, and that'll be the meniscus repair. I'll, let you, I'll show you how that goes in a minute. Thanks. What I'm going to do now um, is check my work and see how well I. I've uh, done in terms of creating a bleeding bed. So there's the, the gap one more time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shut down the water, I'm turning off the water for a second. And I'm looking to see if we get some bleeding in there. There it is. Look at that. That looks awesome. Okay, good. I'll be using this uh, meniscus repair system. It's basically a sewing needle. It's a sewing needle that throws two barbs. So you penetrate, remove, penetrate, remove. The barbs get, get uh, some soft tissue. And then I pull this, the self-tying uh, knot, the self-locking knot. Okay, there's the, my little guy. Hold it right there, Jerry. Thank you so much. Stewart. Alright, Stuart's gonna hold the skull for me. Thank you, Stuart. Okay, there we go. We're gonna first uh, put it right over here. We gotta stay away from that. Oblivious over there, so let me go over here. Okay, there's the first the first sutures in there and it's locked in with a barb. Now I'm going to go under right over here, about the same spot. I don't want to go too deep because I don't want to damage any neurovascular structures. Move on to that. I'm going to put my throat in there. Hold on to that there for me, thank you. Wash the knee out a little bit. See if this thing works. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Squeezing the uh, meniscus tight. Try to move the knot out of the way a little bit. It. 
So now I'm going to trim that suture and we're going to do it again. So the first suture is in. Let me show you a nice close up of this. Look at that right there. It's squeezing those two fragments of meniscus together. The upper leaflet, lower leaflet squeeze tight. You can see the bleeding right there. Remember blood heals without blood, nothing heals. So that's why there's nice bleeding tissue there. I'm going to close that up right there. That's going to look in just a second. That'll be the next stitch. Okay, so our second suture is in. There we go, we're already closing it down. First suture is over there. Hold on, there. Pump up, please. There's the first suture. Second suture right there. We're going to do one more and then that'll be it. There's the final repair. Close down the cleavage tear. Prior to closing, I, I created some vascular channels with this needle. I'm going to add a couple more here just to create some bleeding. Because like I keep saying, and I'm going to repeat this again, if there's no blood, there is no heal. So that's why it's important to prepare your meniscus before it's repaired. Create a lot of bleeding. And that way uh, it'll heal up. Once again, it's Dr. Moore showing you a uh, simple lateral meniscus repair in an athlete. Hopefully that information uh, helped. Thank you. Bye-bye.